Nova, thank you. And now let's go out to Los Angeles, where Robert Bernstein is standing by. Now, he is an infrastructure expert. And, you know, the White House today, uh, Mr. Bernstein, said that the state of Minnesota knew that this bridge was in trouble. And it was under construction when it collapsed. Now, should the authorities have been more aggressive or something here? I would say that's a possibility. Um, I can imagine if what was said by the White House is accurate, that if it were under construction, that bridge or lane should have been closed. Well, if you close the bridge, then you got a major problem with getting people in and out of the city. As you know, look, I come into Manhattan every day, and if I go over the 59th Street Bridge, I mean, that thing's been up since Teddy Roosevelt. And, you know, what, it's wobbling there sometimes. Well, uh, what, you're, what you're saying is true, but which would have been worse? If you closed down half the bridge or if what happened yesterday? Oh, absolutely. But are you saying to me that city authorities, not only in Minneapolis, but other cities across the country, are putting lives in danger because they don't want to close these facilities down? Well, I wouldn't make that statement. What I would say basically is that the bridge inspection practices are far, far away from what they should be. I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, required bridge inspection, but every bridge must be inspected every other year. And there are 200,000 metal bridges in the United States. And do you have any idea how they are inspected? Well, I think it's sight, right? You're right. Visual inspection. Right. And the Federal Highway has put out a paper saying 56% of all visual condition ratings are wrong. So what and should happen? How should they test it? Well, I think that they ought to be able to use more uh, accurate uh, technologies um, rather than just have somebody tap it or look at it with a uh, No, do binocular. they have that equipment available? Do they have high-tech stuff that can tell you if there's a structural deficiency that's going to give way? Yes, they do, and there is more coming, and our company's technology is uh, uh, of very significant importance to that particular well, let's uh, encourage issue. everybody to get that because, you know, obviously this is ridiculous. But you know what we have here, Mr. Bernstein? We have the whole, half the population driving SUVs, and they're much heavier vehicles than they used to be driven. And then you got the huge trucks coming in, um, and the weight on all of that is much more than it used to be. So I think an aggressive, you know, people got to wise up, and the weight these bridges have taken are much more than it used to be, correct? And that's exactly the problem. It's not bad engineering. Fifty years ago, the average age of the bridge in the United States is 50 years. And as you're describing, what was driving over them then as compared to now? Right. All right, Mr. Bernstein, we appreciate, uh, and we're not trying to blame anybody here. We're just trying to prevent anything like this from happening. President Bush will be visiting Minneapolis on Saturday. And we'll go back to that city a bit later on.